Hey, what's up? This is Steve. We're here at uh, Vespa Motorsport, also known as Scooter West. We're going to go over installing the Stebble Nautilus Air Horn. If you want to uh, turn heads on your Vespa, more so than you already do, you should try a horn that sounds like this. And not like... Huge difference in decibels with the air horn. We sell a ton of these horns to keep you safe. Uh, in order to uh, install one of these horns, a uh, robot's going to coach you through that, but you'll need to refer to our other video that talks about removing the uh, horn cover and rear glove box. Um, here's the close-up of the horn. Uh, it's made by a German company, high quality product. This is what you get with the horn. It is an air horn, it's a twin air horn, so you notice down below this is the actual compressor. It's a twin note, so it's a high and a low, and then obviously the plastic horn here is the amplifier. It's got a simple one-point mounting location that works out really well on the uh, Vespa GTS, GT, um, the, the GTS and the uh, Supers. Uh, there's a simple little uh, special squared off screw with a nut to install it. It does come in line with the relay. You do have to install this. Uh, installing this is made very simple if you buy the horn and a secondary product that we sell at Scooter West. Uh, our part number is hornwire-kit, again, hornwire-kit. And this is something that we make in-house. Um, special lead with the correct terminals already crimped on it. So literally all you have to do is install the horn, you know, install this fuse-protected harness, and away you go. You'll be blasting down the street with a horn that sounds like this. People will think it's a truck. Here we go. Here we are, we've got the Stebble Nautilus air horn and we're gonna go over installing that. We're gonna put to good use our handy dandy horn wire kit. Uh, we've already got the plastic stripped off this uh, Vespa Super 300. So it's hot, naked, bare, and ready for a robot to tear into it. What's up first, robot? Uh, got the horn cover off. You wanna take the old horn out. Uh, one single screw. Uh, you wanna save the screw to eight millimeter head. Uh, two quick connects, just pull right off. Don't need this horn anymore, it can just go in the trash. Not bad. And next, uh, you got the turn sail flasher. Uh, we're gonna relocate it, because the air horn's actually gonna go in this area. The air horn's more or less gonna go back in there. Uh, the little rubber thing pops right out, and I'll show you where you can actually zip tie this, this little, little flasher in another spot, and it will work j just as well. We'll get to that in a bit, so we'll just leave that off to the front for right now. And after that, take this bracket off, uh, two uh, M6 10 millimeter headed uh, nuts on there, take those off and pull the bracket off and I'll show you the modifications we need to do, do to the bracket here. The turn signal uh, flasher bracket, now that I have it removed, you're going to make some modifications and reuse this for mounting the horn. You want to cut this ear off, so take hacksaw, uh, die grinder, any type of tool for cutting metal. And just cut this ear off and where I, I drew the little dot you want to drill a 5 16 hole right here and that's where the new horn's going to mount correct correct and it will go right back in those the spot with the two six millimeter fasteners i removed in the previous step and then this is the uh horn wire kit here you notice uh we've set this up so there's a quick connect so you can actually disconnect the inline fuse and then it's you don't really need to take the floor off you can kind of just fish this down through there Fish is in there nice and good. And then pretty self-explanatory what's gonna go, you know, this is gonna hook to the positive, so the red on the battery, the black ring terminal is gonna hook to the negative. And then this will reconnect and then you've got protection via the fuse. So this is from the, so this is, this one is from the battery, power out, protected by the fuse, and then the ground. Now that the wires are fished to the battery, you wanna route this uh, thick gray wire with the main wiring harness and I slipped it under the clip here and also under the clip here and routed it around the front of the fork along with the rest of the main wiring harness. Uh, in the middle, you'll see the two red wires popping out. They're gonna tie to the relay that's included with your horn. Uh, you got terminal 30 and 87. Those are the two. It doesn't matter which one goes to what, but you need to connect them both to 30 and 87. The other two, which I think is 86 and 85, connect to the, the original horn wires, and I'll show you in, in the next step. Uh, we're gonna use that fastener we took the original horn off. I opened up this hole, you can take a number two Phillips screwdriver, just open up that hole a little bit, 
have a cheat or use a quarter inch drill bit to drill that out. Now the screw goes right in there. And these two wires connect to the horn. You got the red for positive, black for negative. You look at the bottom of your horn, you got negative right here, which is closer to the trumpet, and positive kind of farther away right here. Uh, terminals A5 and A6 connect to the original horn wires, and that's what actuates uh, the relay. So just pop those two on, and right here you could use the screw and go ahead and attach it right to this bracket right here. Thread the screw all the way in, and the relay will be secure. You got this turn signal flasher right here. Use a zip tie and zip tie it around either right here, I've zip tied them here, or you can zip tie it around the hose right there, and I'll show you in the next step. I've secured the existing turn signal flasher to this lower hose. A number of other places you can see secure it. Uh, the relay is attached with that, that screw right there and routed the black wires back to where we're going to mount the horn, back this direction. Uh, the piece that we talked about in the previous step has been removed and the hole has been drilled. Uh, you got a couple pieces that are included with the uh, horn, the nut and the square, the square bolt, and also included in the horn, horn wire kit is this Nordlock washer. It's a special type of locking washer. Works really well. Put the square bolt in there. Again, that's 5 16 hole. That's a new hole we drilled. Specialty drop, washer. Drop the washer on. Start the nut. And now you got the, the slot right there. Have the horn. I already plugged in the positive and negative. You can see the positives on the outside. Negatives towards the, the horn here. And basically, you can see the slot right here, and that drops right onto there. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and reattach this part. Use the original nuts that, that retain this, 10 millimeter head. Brackets are installed and horns ready to hang on to that square bolt right there. So have it slightly loose right there and go ahead and get 13 millimeter uh, wrench, open end wrench, and go ahead and tighten the, the nut. And first of all, just start with it a little bit loose. Kind of want to get it right in the right position, just right about there. Fit my pinky right between this bracket. Make sure the nut's not touching the leg shield. And go ahead and snug the nut down and the horn's in there nice and secure. And Robot, how much variance is there for shifting that thing back and forth? I mean, can you be off by like as much as a quarter inch or? Yeah, as long as it's kind of centered in this pocket. You can kind of see, you got a little bit of a gap here, a little bit of a gap here, gap above the turn signal. The glove box kind of fits right into this pocket right here. So this, this happens to work good. That's why I used the original bracket. Happens to put the horn right in the right spot where it doesn't actually touch anything. So if you have this touch and stuff, the vibration, you'd hear that. Nicely done, robot. We have the two, two wires hooked to the battery terminals, the negative in the front, the positive in the rear, and I have the fuse holder kind of tucked in the pocket between the two terminals on the battery, and then you can get the battery strap reinstalled. Uh, the horn's all hooked up, ignition's on, it should, should be pretty loud and honk. God, those are so that, that was Puff the Magic Dragon. I don't know if you could tell that. I mean, for all the Peter, Paul, and Mary fans out there, <laughs> it's a big hit. But that's it, that's installing a horn. Uh, reinstall the glove box, and go blasting down the road. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the business, we appreciate it.